Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Radolescence. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for watching. And I have my good friend Carlos joining me. What's going on? And today we're going to be taking a closer look at the newest release by January Sen Project and it's called Burvubu. So stay tuned. So kind of a funny name, right? Burvubu? Yeah, as you said it, I'm, I'm, I thought to myself, you know, John, you really do have creative names. Yeah. And I wonder how we came up with it, John. <laughs> <laughs> so he had posted a picture of, I guess, the advertisement for the center mm -hmm. on Facebook, and somebody was he asking him. He does his own him, art. Yes, he does. Incredibly talented. So he's an artist, he's a perfumer, who's also an artist. And um, he said that the inspiration for this one was the feeling that you get when you hold a geranium leaf. And it's supposed okay. to have like a very fuzzy or velvety feel. Mm -hmm. And so he, he kept writing words down until this one came to mind. And he thought that this worked as the best translation. At the end of the day, it's a neologism. So it's just a word that's invented to kind of give off a certain vibe. Uh, Shakespeare did it. Lewis Carroll did it. You know, it's whatever. Yes, said the English teacher. <laughs> I'll yeah, take your word for it. <laughs> All right, and this one, um, all of his fragrances are kind of like that. He does utilize a lot of natural ingredients. Mm -hmm. And so I know this one, for instance, has three different types of cedar. It has uh, white cedar, red cedar, and Virginian cedar, if I'm not mistaken, or Chinese cedar. I'm going to have to double check that. I'll leave an annotation here. But it has mushroom. It has henna. It has castorium, adding a little animalic touch, Moroccan rose. And so there's a plethora of different notes in here. It's kind of woodsy sometimes, but it's also floral in a rosy way, but it can also be a tad bit animalic as well. We should point out that John is self-taught. Mm. He's a fragrance writer for Fragrantica. Yeah. And he's very creative. I'm personal friends with him in real life, and uh, he's definitely a creative guy. Yeah, just smelling this one, um, it's definitely a bold scent yeah it's unapologetic it's raw it's uh it's definitely for lovers of some of the more challenging releases out there and i do think that the smell is a nice one and mm -hmm. now that you put it on skin i don't know if it's because it, that's a rose tattoo that you have <laughs> yes it is <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if it's because of your rose tattoo or what but it really pops on your skin the i rose. get rose i get rose from this i do too i get a lot of rose from it and it's got i got a lot of rose on my skin and it has definitely a very woody aura those cedars are present for sure yeah the animalic side of it is more like a gentle purr than an outright animalic you no know, cutting through the whole composition mm -hmm. i think it's not the rose that one would expect mm -hmm. um if you take a look at the bottle it definitely smells the way that it looks the juice inside is very dark, it's bold, um, and I love this about it too. It kind of conveys what it's going to smell like. But... I can't help to think of Serge Vuitton's. Oh, yeah. That, that syrupy kind of color, you know? Uh -huh. I know this fragrance is available in a few different sizes. I have the smaller size, which is just a single ounce, um, but it comes with like a really nice dark green box mm -hmm. presentation. And so I like what John Beeble is doing with the presentation. It looks really nice. What I think I like the most about the way that this one unfolds on skin okay. is that in the opening, it's the most animalic. Well, but it does well, the most challenging. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah. It, it settles on skin. Yeah. It's not animalic, though, in the sense that it smells like civet or it smells like, you know, something indolic or fecal right, right. or anything like that. It doesn't. Um, I think you get a little bit of that castorium in the opening, and then some of the more, like, unique notes start to come out, like the henna and the mushroom and a lot of these other oils that you really wouldn't expect to smell in a fragrance. But obviously, John was able to utilize them in such a way that it still has, um, you know, a familiar element about it with the rose and the woods, but it retains its own identity. I think it has an incense -y quality as well, although yeah, incense or frankincense is not a, a note that's listed or any kind of resin, but it does give off that kind of... Um, Incensey character, Nachampa type of yeah. thing. Yeah, I could see that. Mm -hmm. um, when I first sprayed it, though, I thought it smelled minty. And I think that's because of the basil note. Mm -hmm. And so if I were to say there's one aromatic ingredient in here that's stronger than everything else, it's definitely the basil. So if you can imagine the scent opening up with a slight mintiness on account of the basil, 
And I know holy basil can be very minty. I used to drink that tea all the time. And then it sort of mellows down into this slightly animalic, rosy scent. A lot of natural is being utilized in here as well. And then you have the cedar wood. I think it's a really nice combination of different ingredients. And I think it's really going to appeal to the connoisseur, the, the kind of person that really likes the more artistic blends, yes. the... Um, the unapologetic fragrances, not the ones where they're kind of like easygoing and mainstream and designer-ish and everybody loves Definitely them. Definitely not. I think of a like a cedar fancy box with like rose petals in there and perhaps an incense cone or two. Yeah. It's kind of the vibe that I get from, from this as well. I can totally see that. I can totally see that, yeah. That's a great description. Um, Longevity-wise, this one is like... A beast. Monstrous! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will definitely last a long time on your skin. I want to say maybe like 8 to 10 hours, um, if you couldn't already envision that from the color of the liquid inside. It does last for a long time. And in terms of seasons, though, I think it's cold weather. For sure. I totally agree. Yep. Um, maybe dressed up? Uh, yeah, this is not something I would wear to work, I don't think. I prefer freshies, basically, when for work. But um, this is special occasion, maybe a date night, yeah. or, yeah, former I occasion. Mean, I think you'll turn heads with this one. I think, I think you will get noticed. It's interesting enough that people are going to wonder, what, what is that? Like, there are different nuances oh, yeah. going on within the composition that are definitely unique and not like something that you'd smell on every other person. Yep. But... Good job here, Mr. Beeble, but Smolder Rose is still my personal favorite from your uh, line. Oh, okay. I like Smolder Rose, too. Yeah. I also like Sulpernicu. It has a yes. little bit of like um like a creamy richness about it. I'm going to link that video down below. And uh, Carlos, thank you so much for coming my to my channel. Thank you for inviting me into your home once more. Absolutely. So Carlos's information is going to be down below as well. If you have not checked out his channel, please do so. Um, great content. I'm sure a lot of you already know Carlos by now. Also, if you are new to this channel and you did take something of value from this video, please do consider subscribing. This way, when I do release new videos and the notification bell too, if you are a loyal subscriber, but maybe you're not notified in that way, do make sure to enable notifications. This way, when I do upload new content, it will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future fragrance-related videos. And he's definitely on a roll, so there's content coming. <laughs> Content's coming, for sure. I have a lot. I have a lot in the backlog, yeah. I appreciate that you took that break for a minute that one time, but uh, you're back in the swing of it. Oh, I had to. <laughs> you know, my wife and my daughter. Yeah, and yeah. Just totally, time I family. totally get it, and I, I'm totally contemplating the same thing myself. Yeah. Just when is... You know, because fall and winter is kind of when people are really looking for perfume reviews and yeah, fragrances. That's true. So. And they do tend to come out with a lot of good stuff in the fall yes. and winter. And so I'm going to keep my eyes and my nose out for it. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.